guys, how's it going? My name is Jewel Tolentino, and in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to create and edit video in Camtasia Studio 7. Now, this is the video editing software that I use to edit our tutorial videos, but you guys can use many different types of editing software, and you probably have some free software on your computer. I believe I was using Windows Media Player when I first started, and that would will just work fine for what we're doing. All the editing softwares have similar features and basically work all the same. Before you even start editing, you're going to need to film some video of yourself. So whether it be a tutorial video like this, or you performing, or whatever you want to edit, you're just going to need some video content. Okay, so now that you've got your video footage, we can start the editing process. I've already got my Camtasia Studio 7 open, and I've already prepped it, so we can get started right away. So this is what Camtasia Studio 7 looks like, and you can see that I already have some items prepped. Here. This is what I like to do before I start. I like to load it up with all the content that I need before I start, you know, diving into things. So I've got some an image here, an audio clip, and the footage. So when I start editing, I actually like editing from the middle. If you think about it, it's like a sandwich. So I like working with the meat. First, then I do the beginning of the video and then the end. So that's what we're going to do right here. This is actually a clip of my business partner, Orit, and it's the tutorial video before this one. So if you want to watch that, you can click the link below. I'll put that there so you can see what the full video looks like. This is just the first section of it. So I've just dragged the video clip into the timeline here and I'll just play the beginning and end because that's mainly what we'll need to cut. So this is just the beginning. Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, so you can see there, there's a little bit of you know her setting up and you know prepping to start the video and we won't go through all of this and we'll just go straight to the end here what you do is who you are and what you do and you get to show that off with other people and that brings me to my second reason all right so her staring to the camera that that's her pausing for the next clip so what we want to do is we want to trim that down because we don't need any of that stuff. So I'm just going to get to a position where she's got a nice facial expression. So you don't want to cut it here because she's in mid laugh. So we want to get her with her, her face composed like that. So we're going to cut it here and I would just, you know, cut that away. And then at the end, all right, so you can tell when it's a straight line, this is the audio right here. So when it's going up and down like that, that means there's noise or she's talking and there's sound. If it's just a straight line, that means it's silent. So I know I can cut there because her face looks okay and there's no audio, so I'm not cutting her in mid-speech or anything like that. Now there is more to this video, there are more clips, but I'm just using this first clip uh, just to give you guys a basic example. And you can go ahead and if you need to, you know, cut in between if she's making a mistake and you want to get rid of a, a specific word, you can go ahead and cut that out, but we won't be doing that for this tutorial. Now that I'm done with the meat, uh, this is the content where she's speaking and she's explaining the tutorial we can go ahead and work back to the beginning. Now this is just my way of editing videos. You guys can start from the beginning, middle, and end, or however you want. I like to work with what needs editing the most. Uh, the reason why I go middle, front, end is because there are more things happening in the middle 
and I don't really need to worry about the front and the end because uh, those are pretty standard to me. Those are a lot simpler. I like to pay more attention to the middle. So now we're going to go to the beginning. And I've got my logo here because this is a tutorial for Esatino Connections. So I'm going to want to brand this video with my logo. You guys can, you can do a title clip where you can just type out the title You don't if you don't have a logo or anything like this. If you wanted to do a title clip, you would insert a title clip. Test title. So you see there you can do something like that. But I like to use the branded logo that we already have going on. When I have this here, I like to add our website at the bottom. So these are just like little features that you can put into your video, like arrows or if you want to highlight something or square. I'm just going to choose this one right here and this is how I usually do it. If you watch our tutorial videos, you'll recognize this in the beginning. So I'm just going to do that and I usually use our colors so that's white that's black and that's red we'll just put that there at the bottom now to make things more visually appealing I like to I'm just gonna change the seconds on this because I don't like it to be too long three seconds is, is long enough for me for the intro so when we have the the intro here, I like to do a little zoom up. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Okay. So I'm just going to play it here. So when it plays, it does a little zoom up. And then it goes right into the video. Hey guys! Rather than it just going right into the video, I like to use transitions and it's like the name. It transitions into the next clip easily. So to keep things professional I like to use a transition called fade through black. There are other fun transitions like that or you know things like that turning but for the purpose of tutorial videos I like using the simple ones. For other fun videos that I make for my family and friends, yeah, I will use the other ones. But for this, we'll just use that. And I like to use a one second duration on the transition, just so it's quick, you know? It's not too long, and just goes very hey guys, smoothly. how's it going? My so, you can see how that worked right there. It just went right into it. I'll show you guys again. Hey guys! So it was a one second transition that went right into the meat of the content. So now let's go to the end. And at the end of the video is where I like to thank the viewer for watching, whether I'm saying it or I write it. So I'm going to add a title clip. And I usually either say it or I write it, so or both. So thanks for watching. And then what you want to do at the end is do a call to action. So what that means is you want to say uh, something like share this video, comment on this video, follow me on Twitter, uh, you can find my music here, something like that. An action that takes them somewhere, you know, go to my website here, uh, email me here, that sort of thing. So we'll just do the usual one that we do on Twitter. Again, I like to do a transition into that. Anything, anytime anything is changing to a different clip, I like to do a transition. So we'll just do that and So you see it just went right smoothly into that. Another thing I like to add in the videos is background music. And I have that already prepped here. This song is called Fire Than Aim and it's actually one of Orate's tracks. 
It's from her debut album. It's her right there. Hey guys, how's it going? So you can see that was pretty, that's, that's loud while she's speaking right now. So we've got to lower the volume of that background music so that we can hear her again. So I'm going to go to audio and you can control the volume here. With this software, you can add audio points and that allows you to lower one end of the song rather than the whole thing all at once. So you can do different parts. So I'm just going to lower it down to there and just test out if we can hear her properly. My name is Orit and in this video I'm going to talk to you about three reasons. It's just a little bit loud so I'm just going to raise her volume up. Three reasons on why creating online video is so important. Okay and I'm going to be talking Okay, so now that we've got the music, we can actually clip the end of it because it's too long. As you can see, this is the song clip and this is the end of the video, so it's too long. So I'm just going to cut the end of that and we can't just leave it like that because I just clipped it, so I'm going to have to fade out. So we'll do a nice fade out instead of just a, a jolting stop at the music. So let's see here. See, that was a nice fade out so it doesn't go so abruptly, unless you wanted to, unless that's the, you know, what you're going for in the video, you can do that. So now that is about it. So we've got the meat section here where she's speaking, right? And then the beginning. So you have your branded logo and your title and your website. I usually like to put at the beginning. And then at the end, you just have a thanks for watching and then your call to action. And then you can put little details like transitions in between like this here and adding music so whenever I'm filming a video a tutorial video I always ask a uh, read and for myself as well I stand to the side of the video so that I can use this area to write text while the person is speaking so let's see what she's saying here video has impacted my singing career and so this is going to be more of a testimonial type of video and using myself as an example. So reason number one. Okay, so she's saying reason number one. So then I would go to the text here and I would write a one and make it really big. I'd usually put that here. This is like my chalkboard area. So I would listen to what she's saying. The important parts I would highlight and put on this blank space area. So if you look at the actual tutorial video for this, this I actually do this. Uh, a one pops up when she says, when she's explaining the first point. So I'll just show you there what I did. Video really helps you to build your exposure. Okay, Google picks. That's just an example of what you can do with your text on the video, and you know, little things like highlighting and zooming in, and you know, all the added extras, the detailed things. These are just the basic features that you need to edit your video. You know, just making sure that you have a beginning, middle, and end. Just think of it like a sandwich. So that's basically all I have for you guys right now. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.